Hello, in this video I would like to show you my method of noise removal from Samsung Meteor Mic, but in general I think you can apply it to removing noise from some other devices. First of all, let's see what the problem actually is. Some of uh, users of Samsung Meteor Mic have the problem of mosquito kind of noise. It's really annoying. Just listen to it. So you can hear it's kind of buzzing. If you have headphones, it's really audible. If you have speakers, maybe not that much. But what I can do is I can normalize the signal so that it's maybe a bit more audible. Let's not make it too loud. So that's it, it's, it's really unpleasant. So one solution that's already being proposed by many YouTubers uh, is to use Samsung Sound Deck for Windows. This software is paid and it uses uh, some real-time audio processing algorithm for noise removal, but in my opinion the results are not the best. It sometimes stutters and it's, it's just not, not the best quality you can get. So I, I, I wasn't willing to pay for this program because I heard it uh, and I wasn't really pleased. I found out that there is another solution to do this and in my opinion it, it sounds good. So what I figured was that when you analyze the spectrum of the signal you can see, let's make it bigger, you can see that there is a peak at 1 kilohertz, then around 2 kilohertz, 3 kilohertz and in general the multiples of this frequency. Um, so this is actually the, this one kilohertz and two kilohertz are the the most audible frequencies usually. So what we can do is we can use equalizer to remove those uh, frequencies first in the very narrow uh, range, and then we can uh, apply audacity noise removal to get even better results and to practically remove the noise completely for, from the signal without altering uh, the quality of of uh, voice or whatever recording you have. So I will make a copy of this, keep it for reference, and this is a sample I recorded before. Let's listen to it. Here is a short sample of my voice. We can hear the noise. And here we'll first apply the equalizer to remove the frequencies I mentioned. So this is 1 kilohertz, 2 kilohertz, 3 kilohertz. I figured that the other multiples are usually not present and they're not that audible. So let's just apply it. You cannot see that anything changed here, but you'll hear it. Let's play the reference noise signal first. And now the equalized signal. Again. So you can hear that, you can probably hear that in this signal, this uh, mosquito buzzing is gone. You can just hear almost like white noise. And white noise is much easier to remove than noise which contains some specific uh, frequencies that are just louder than the rest of it. So once we have this equalized, we can now mm, get a noise profile using Audacity noise removal algorithm. And now we can apply the noise removal to the whole signal. Let's preview. Here is a short sample of my voice. I think it's slightly altering the voice. I mean, the quality is not perfect. So maybe let's decrease sensitivity. Here is a short sample of my voice. I think right now it's almost perfect. Here is a short sample of my voice. Okay, so I'm pleased with the result. Maybe, maybe less sensitivity. Here is a short sample of my voice. Okay, now I hear no noise and uh, the voice quality, I think it's retained. So I click OK. Now let's play it once again. Here is a short sample of my voice. So here it's just, you know, a flat line. There's almost nothing. And now let's listen to the original recording once again of my voice. Here is a short sample of my voice. Hear the noise? And once again, without noise, here is a short sample of my voice. And it's just clean. So yeah, that's it. I think, you know, don't lose your money. Try this first. And if it works for you, then great. Mm. 
we can get into a bit more details. If you ask where is this noise really coming from, I do not really know the exact answer, but I managed to figure out two reasons. First reason is that probably the chip inside the microphone, it has a flaw. Uh, the power supply of this chip is not properly designed or the chip is making noise itself. And uh, this one kilohertz noise is always present regardless of the power source. So whether you power it from uh, your laptop, from battery or from your uh, PC, I mean desktop or from Raspberry Pi, there is always this one kilohertz noise. Another another thing is in this microphone is that uh, it it passes some noise from the power line. So if you have a crappy power supply in your uh, desktop, you'll hear some more buzzing. If you have crappy power supply for your Raspberry Pi and you plug it, there will be probably even more buzzing because it, it's just even more crappy usually. <laughs> I mean, some cheap phone charger it it will make even more noise. So that that's the, that's the two reasons uh, I figured out. And you can definitely fight with this one kilohertz noise uh, by means I just showed you in this video. So if it works for you, it will make me really happy. <laughs> Put your thumbs up. And if you like this video, please subscribe.